Well, hello folks, it's Ken David Stewart uh, back with you again for a Friday morning. And uh, today I want to talk about, uh, you know, basically new artists and uh, new musicians particularly. Uh, I think I'm going to title this episode My Generation uh, because if you were from the 60s, 70s uh, generation there, you had the privilege of listening to some pretty good music. You had everything from the Beatles to the Doors to Led Zeppelin to heavy metal. The, the, the list goes on and on and on. Bob Dylan, I mean, you know, how many great artists did we have in our era? And the question that's often, you know, bothered me or, or that I've often asked myself is what are the kids listening to today? You know, do they have any alternative to uh, listening to the same old thing their parents did, as good as it, good as it was? And, uh, you know, I just stumbled on kind of a way to try and find out. Um, there's one site on the internet that is putting out Creative Common mixtapes. And from what I understand, these are basically artists who are putting their music up just for the exposure. And I think that is, that is a great idea. This is one of the things that the internet should be used for, is to give young and new artists exposure to their material, uh, have people downloading it and you know having a great listen and getting interested in, in your band uh, I've only listened to a few you know uh, Creative Commons, Commons mixtapes uh, but I have found them very interesting um, you know one is kind of the the variety of the music that is out there now it's certainly it's certainly not much like what we listen to in in our generation you might hear bits of it in pieces here and there from what I've listened to right now uh, there's a lot of what I call electronica and uh, this is basically designed for dance music now some of it is very catchy and, and uh, you know, it, it's it's worth a listen to, and uh, even if you're an older person like 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 myself, uh, it's time to give you know the younger people's music a chance. I mean, you know, our parents started out out uh, hating a lot of our music, but after a while, geez, they were kind of liking the Beatles and a few other bands, so. Uh, Let's see what we can do to, you know, give an, an honest airing to the, the new artists. And just out of curiosity to find what the new artists are, are sort of putting out there. Uh, I'll just list a few of them that I've been, that I've been listening to. Uh, there's an artist called Sick of Sarah. And they have a song called Kickback on the Creative Commons. This one I like very much. Uh, there's a couple or duo calling themselves No Way Josie and they do a song called Want It Back and this is I find it an enjoyable song to listen to uh, some other songs I've been listening to is a song called Away by uh, Aucan A-U-C-A-N I don't even know if I pronounced that right but if I were to classify that type of music as anything, I would call it industrial grunge. Um, I've also listened to uh, These Animals. They have a song called A Ghost You've Known. And the Sliders have more of a conventional song called Coming Around. But anyway, you know, I was not disappointed in in what I what I listen to I don't know I think you know when something really revolutionary is going to come around again uh, in the music scene I think the last real revolution we had was in the 1990s with the Seattle grunge uh, scene and that's when bands like especially Nirvana just blew things right apart there uh, they really changed the whole the whole genre. Of 
of course, punk music did itself, and a lot of credit has to go to the Ramones, who were really the, the originators of, of punk music. Uh, but the Seattle grunge scene, I think, was the last major movement in, in music, which produced a lot of great musicians from Nirvana, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, numerous others. Uh, but I don't believe that we've had, uh, you know, kind of a revolutionary move in music uh, since, since that time. And you never know uh, every decade or couple of decades when something like that is going to, uh, is going to uh, break out. So anyway, th these are just some of my thoughts uh, this morning on, on the present music scene and some of the things I've been listening to. And uh, this is saying, have a good day and rock on from Ken David Stewart.